it's just look <laughs> the situation turned from a bad situation to a worse situation cause Kane drops a mixtape and the song Body Bags is on there. It's just like the beef is restarted. And now Jimmy is using game fully to just take out and destroy G -Un. You know, it's the big G Unite movement going on. And every time they do something, you know against 50 and putting all this money behind it and all this Dre is staying out of it you know he's not even going one way or the other he's looking like well he ain't on the label you know we ain't supporting none of it you know but and it was making 50 feel a certain way because he wanted to show some solidarity so Eminem wouldn't get involved in it and neither would Dr. Dre. So they kind of left 50 to deal with it. But this guy's out here destroying the brand that 50 created with all this GU Not stuff. You know, they GU Not, they got stickers, they going in New York trying to drive out 50 Cent and working with people that don't like 50 Cent at the time some New York artists. Anybody from New York that didn't like 50, they were an ally. So, it was it was uh, a big power shift going on in the game. You know, and all the products they put now, it started to show some effect on sales and uh, it was going to have to be addressed. You know, you just couldn't ignore it no more. So, 50 had to come out and make a little mixtape where they was actually throwing some shots back at Game. But Game had so much street momentum as far as doing all the stuff he was doing. His attack on 50 Cent was made it look like it was personal. But he was just being used as a pawn. He didn't want to know parts of this war no more. And what it was doing was affecting Game. Game thought he was going to be the biggest star in the world once 50 was gone and he could take 50 down. But he made a big mistake. He went out to two giants at the same time because while attacking Jay-Z, 50 Cent and Diddy, those three were the biggest rap stars in the world. And Gay wanted to do a song with Diddy. And Jay was like, Puff, this dude makes songs disrespecting me. You can't do a song with this dude. So Puffy was like, man, alright. <laughs> so Puffy uh, didn't do a song with Game when he was supposed to. None of these business deals that Game wanted to get done and Jimmy couldn't get done, Jay-Z was feeling a certain one. Jay-Z was behind the scenes actually kind of helping 50 Cent's case because he wouldn't deal with him. You know, he, he did something personally to where he felt disrespected and slighted. So Game went out and like, man, I want to apologize to Jay-Z and all them. I'm not even feeling that way. You know that wasn't my intentions and blah, blah, blah. And 50 really didn't want to focus on the game. He had so much going on with all these uh, promotional deals he got. You know, he got a another uh, multi-million dollar uh, contract with vitamin water around the same time. So, he wasn't thinking about game. Then, uh, what happened? Lloyd Banks' album didn't do what they thought it was going to do. And then, uh, Tony Yayo album. Well, it didn't do what they thought it was going to go, being a G-Unit album. Even though it was a good album. 
but they used it to to try to destroy and show that G Unit was falling. But actually, at that time, hip hop was changing. Everything was going more dirty south, Jeezy type sound. If you weren't sounding like Jeezy at that time, they really wasn't kind of buying it. Everybody was going in that direction. Then a lot of things happened where Tony Ayo's house got shot up. You know, it, it's a big old mess. It really is, because after that, it became a street battle. Then Jimmy's uh, supposedly, allegedly, what he was arrested for was uh, one member of G Unit, like somebody that was close to them, like a bodyguard. He got shot and murdered, and he was trying to make it like it was an organized hit, allegedly, and that's why they originally went to go get Jimmy. But during this entire process, 50 Cent was making money off of Game. They had to pay 50 Cent close to a million dollars every time Game put out an album. Not a mixtape, an album, because he had to keep the G Unit imprint off his albums until they reached a um, a buyout con in the contract. And so, Fifty was sitting there waiting on checks to come from Jimmy, or he was gonna sue. Then they put out a movie called The Real Fifty Cent. Jimmy Henchman put that out, and it had video from Fifty Cent. And 50 is not supposed to be in the video. But they got 50 Cent on the video. And they're like, man, I didn't know 50 Cent would be behind something like this. But it was part of a documentary. And it was shot for another, the interview was shot for another purpose, not for that movie. And so 50 was, uh, took it to court and they won. And they had to get a, some money back off that, that Jimmy made off the real 50 Cent. And they always make that like, Jimmy knew the real 50 Cent, not this dude. You ain't the real 50 Cent. So, big money was spent to go after 50 Cent and all this stuff and try to destroy the name. Because the business, the street thing, eh, you know, it just wasn't going to work out. So, game began to try to blend in. When it was like, oh, 50's done. He's caring about movies. He's not caring about the music. G Unit is destroyed. Let's try to make some money now. Because <laughs> in the end, Jimmy spent so much money trying to do all this and losing lawsuits to 50 Cent in court. They ain't making no money off game. And Dre is like, dude, uh, you know, you did your thing, but we got to try to make some money here. And then the LAX album come out and basically does nothing. It was like, man, like Dre's looking like my project is crap right now. The game is looking like, man, I should be able to renegotiate my contract. Like it's the NBA and Dre's like, this ain't the NBA, brother. I don't have to renegotiate anything. <laughs> and so far, your productivity is going down, down, down. So LAX didn't get the buzz he thought it was going to get. And he think Jay-Z dissed him on the line on one of his songs. Game had went to becoming a feature artist because he wasn't getting the money he thought he deserved. So for appearances, he was working with Lil Wayne and all them. He was trying to get signed with cash money actually and get them to bring game over but the way his deal structure would have to have he can't move <laughs> unless Dre don't think it's the best thing to do game would have to sit out for a while for Dre to even think about it to even care enough to say well alright we can move him now when he was trying to move over there without getting out they were trying to find a way to maneuver game over there see if they could switch his name <coughs> And no movement. So he see 50 Cent at a party. 
And he was like, I'm quite sure he saw me. But 50 wasn't like up top. So Gang wanted to go up there to have a conversation with it. You know, he was like, I could have went up there, really had a conversation. He had his bodyguards, and they was open to like let me go up to talk to him. But he was like, I don't really know. This could go one or two ways. You know, and I'm not, I'm not finna go up that, you know, that escalator to find out. So he kind of left it be. He got barred from Canada. They wouldn't let him in because of his blood affiliation with gangs. So that messed up his big money he was gonna get for a show he was doing over in Canada. Uh, Jay Z had a lot to do with that. So it's a lot of power moves was being played on both positions. Floyd, I mean not Floyd, but 50 had a lot of power as far as keeping him off certain venues, certain events. And then when they didn't care about 50 no more, 50 didn't care about it. He didn't even pay any attention to it because he was still being respectful to Aftermath who didn't want him to touch game and ruin their money. You know, it's like, look, we just gonna touch him something light, but Y'all know I'm in the right if I do touch him. Because this dude's being way too disrespectful. So what they did was come to an agreement, you know. So I felt that was the right thing for them to do at that time. And game just kept getting more red and he dropped the Red album and he's dissing Jay Z on the song and going crazy and it's it's just a bad situation where it really fizzled out. Jimmy just left it go, let it go, but he didn't let it go. <laughs> you know, fifty of them got powerful people that work for them. And they went after they went after uh Jimmy with the feds. You know, Avin got the feds on speed dial. So when you mess with their artists, or there's a threat to one of their artists' lives, or how they're making money, you know, something's going to have to be done. So, I'm out. That's the end of this. Because um, it's really, it just fizzled out. It was a big build up to something that fizzled out, and I'm glad it fizzled out where none of them are dead but somebody's dead behind it you know he's that person's gone even though he didn't pick up a mic and rap somebody lost their life because two dudes beefing you know two rap dudes beefing with each other led to something stupid like that I'm out